little play this afternoon with this die cutting machine and um i've got a bit carried away as you do <laughs> i started off with making and um, just some tags from the tim holtz tag range uh i'll just put get it here it's just on my shelf um it's the fram framelits yeah and i've just dug out some bits of like, like scrapbook card that's left over from doing my journals um i thought right i'll use these and then i thought oh i know with all my little snippets left over i'll make the other bits as well so here you go look all these little tiny pieces and i got really carried away so i thought doing everything i thought oh, this is silly really i'll just come on to do these few here and then when i was in my box of die cuts i found the flowers so i've done some flowers now as well a uh, book page i ran through i think it was six sheets um this they struggled well to be fair these were okay um but this one was a bit um a bit on the hard, hard side i've got to cut these off here because it wouldn't it, I had to poke it, really rip it really, because it sort of wouldn't cut, if you can see. But um, what I'm going to do now is I'll just get these off here, and I'm just going to run some more through. And then I'm going to make some little flowers up a bit later on, and I might do a little little video. Let's see how it goes. Just doing four. All I've done is folded the sheet over, um, a book page, and I thought, well, we'll get like, quite a few like four hopefully like four lots of flowers that's what i'm planning and um, can you see me i'm just i'm standing up here so i can see what's going on on the camera um yeah because he's a bit you know he's a big boy well he's not the he's not the what they call xl big shot it's just the just the normal one and the thing is these dies they do jump a bit and i did use some masking tape but the masking tape tears the paper so i was gonna get me little washi tapes out the ones that i don't really use a lot of and use those instead but i thought oh, i'll just mess about for a little bit it's the only thing with the flowers because this is where your cry cuts come in i suppose and you you know because you can only cut so many at a time can't you and that's the annoying bit isn't it really because i've only got like four sheets see what i mean this one's a bit i'm not sure if those petals are supposed to be attached i don't know if they're supposed to be on there when i've pulled them off on the other one don't really know no it's supposed to come away because you can see where the cut goes not actually attached yeah so the others go through fine but this one it's a bit it's a bit harder but i've got four sheets now yeah they've got to be cut off I've got four little sheets and what i'll do i won't use these because they need to be trimmed but what i'll do what i did with this one a while back i did a few i didn't do many i was just messing around when i got the die cut machine what i did was i cut down to the center and then i stuck it like that and then i did they do make like quite dimensional or raised ones so if you wanted to do like a bunch of flowers because i've seen that done and i've seen them put flowers in little vases like miniature vases made from toilet roll tubes and that makes your center where's that other one gone was that one went it and then that makes another one and then you can put the dinky one in the middle but that's what i'm gonna do I'll put these i'll put them up together later on just do a little just a little video and these are nice i, mean, I don't know how i'm gonna do these um you know maybe layer them up like that maybe i don't know maybe put a big one i'm not sure how they're supposed to be used i don't know whether i got them in a, a kit or freebie probably a freebie on the front of a magazine or something put them on there like that but you get your you get your ball tool yeah your ball these things and you get your piece of foam and then you can mold them a bit better you know what i mean like they do with the felt but you can still you can still mold them like this you know i mean you can do it in your hand like that and then stick them together so <laughs> this is a little little there uh, me being playful as usual messing about doing nothing well doing nothing's not creating just messing around that's what i tend to do a lot of <laughs> but what i'm gonna do now is these bits out of the way i've got a lot of mess on my desk i'm going to use this uh what you call it uh digital i'm not sure where it come from whether it was a just a random set or something off somebody or 
that I'd ordered. I can't remember now. I think I did there a Christmas, I think. Could be, actually. Um, one of the first ones I ever ordered. I remember Victorian designs. I'm not sure. Right, now, what I'm going to do here is... I'll just do two. Um, see what I mean with this? I don't, that Surely that's a petal. But then when you... It cuts it, so I don't know if that is a petal. The, the little bits are supposed to be petals. Right, I'm going to put a few on it here. Like that. Probably shouldn't really be doing this with this sheet of paper because it should really be used in a in a journal as it is. But what I'll do, the flowers, oh, the flowers and the birds that are on it, I'll cut out. And it's not completely wasted. Right, let's have a look. Oh, that's jumped out quick. It's gone through that nicely. But look, I've only got two. If I'd have done them a bit better, I probably could have got a few more, you know. But what I will do is I'll cut these out so that it won't go to waste. But what I'm thinking now, we've got this book page. Is that two there? I don't know if it's two. I can't tell. Should be. So two pages. Yeah, I thought it was two. They're just stuck together. So now I can make like a book flower of... A music sheet flower as well. That's what my plan is. Here's another one. Now this is one of them weird ones that you've got to poke poke out through the holes like that. Like the doilies. When you do the doilies and you, you have to poke and poke and poke. Yeah, so that would be nice, wouldn't it, if I did that on there. Because I'm thinking of putting some flowers in my, di in my journal, but something different. You know, I'm trying to think of another... Just another sort of dimension, really. Yeah, so they, there you go. Some more nice little little ones. And then you can... I mean, you could do a nice flow with those. Layer those up. You could put a little button in the middle. Or a brad. Yeah, right. Do one more. And then I'm going to get off. Because I think I've got another sheet. I'm trying to put all my rubbish in the bin. But I'm not getting anywhere. Actually, I might be able to get another two out there. That. No, I won't. I will that side. But not there. Because I'll be going into these. Let's just cut it in half. Actually. Get it off. Don't know why I did that then. Because <laughs> I haven't. I may as well just tore it. Oh dear. Go and do lally. Get it off. Right. See, I needed to get rid of it because it's bigger than the bigger than the plate. Right, we need a little one, don't we? That one maybe, and then maybe uh, another one of them so I can do with. Actually, it's a shame because I get a bigger one. Being really stingy now, and I <laughs> trying to try not to waste, try not to waste it. Now I can get another one there. That one, the big one, without cutting into the flowers. She says. And then when she puts it through, it moves. Uh, where's my plate gone? Yeah, they jump. When you put your plate on, they do a do a jump on you. I'm quite f fine. I find this quite satisfying. Um, you know, it's just a nice thing to do. A lot of people don't like them. A lot of people, like I said, you know, would rather use a um cry cut or a scan and cut or something or whatever they're called, you know, and just have it all, program it all in and have 50, 50 flowers cut out. But I don't know. There's something about the manual things that I prefer. To be fair, I mean you can do this yourself. You don't need a die cutting machine. All you do is you fold your fold your paper, you know, into quarters or whatever, and cut round. Cut, you know, like we used to when we was kids making flower chains and people. <laughs> what we used to do, make the little uh, people all joined hands in a row. Yeah, we used to do that back in the day when we didn't have toys. I'd rather play with stuff like that anyway, to be fair. It's all I had for Christmas. Pens and colouring books and stuff. I wasn't bothered about anything else. Even though I didn't take art at school. How mad's that? I think it clashed with something else that I wanted to take. Probably cookery or something or... So I chose cookery. Right then. No more diddling about. I'm going to cut off here. And I'll come back with all the little pieces and... Bit, all the flowery pieces and we'll get my little moulding board out it's just a piece of foam and now uh, i'll get some brads and some whatever bits and bob and i'll whack some flowers together to add to the journal right then everybody stay safe take care we'll be back soon bye